Hello everyone. This video lecture is a part of our video lecture series on the introductory course on Moodle. In this lecture, we are going to explore dashboard and course settings in Genome. This series uh, of lectures are licensed under Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike. So, first thing first, where can we find the dashboard? So, as soon as we enter the uh, in, enter into the any course, uh, this is the course we have created for demo purpose. You will see, you can see dashboard uh, here and uh, uh, one more uh, times here also. So these two are the shortcuts for dashboard, and you will see this type of screen. And in this screen, you can find timeline and courses. This is the course overview. So what can we get in dashboard? In dashboard, we can get course overview and the blocks here. You can see these two things are the things we can get in the dashboard so in timeline what are the things we can get in timeline in timeline we can get uh, we can arrange timeline in two forms like sort by dates and sort by courses form in sort by dates form you can see all the courses which are sorted in uh, uh, according to the dates that uh, in next seven days we can have these type of courses and in next 30 days we can have these type of courses so in uh, this uh, page you can also find attempt use uh, shortcut and submission shortcuts also that means you can also submit the assignments or attempt queues also from this window itself now the second is sort by courses in timeline so in sort by courses uh, timeline, we can have courses sorted in terms of courses. So in uh, this we can uh, see there are two type of courses, exam preparation and psychology in cinema. Now next is we have to stop for a reflection spot. Now by this time you all have created your own Moodle site at Genomeo and uh, you are well familiar with the introductory part. Now you have one uh, question that you have to explore the dashboard and you have to find that how can we customize the dashboard. So resume the video after you have uh, done exploring the dashboard. Pause for now. Okay, so after this you must have seen that that there is a uh, customize this page option in the dashboard so you have to click here to customize the space as soon as you click on this uh, tab here customize this place page you can see that this type of window appears here there are few changes like add a block option is available here and these type of options are also available here Using these type of options, you can reorganize the blocks like course overview blocks, private files block, or latest badges block. You all can, and these all can be rearranged using this shortcut. And this shortcut is used for uh, exporting options. If you want to stop uh, stop customizing this space, you have to click on this shortcut. Now, next is exploring courses. So, from here you, you can find different courses here. So, in courses also we have three different types of options. Like in progress courses, these are the courses which are in progress right now. There are also future courses which we have planned for future time. And there are past courses also which we have also uh, uh, we have already completed. So we have three different types of options in the courses. Now, for exploring courses, we have to go back to the original demo site that we have created. So as soon as we click on the course there, we can see this type of window on my screen. Now, we have to click here and click on the edit settings. So as soon as we click on edit settings, we will get these options like we have to we can change the name here course full name here 
then if there is a course short name so we can uh, put here short name then we can have course category and then course visibility then course started and stopped ended so uh, we can uh, if the start date is 9 june 2018 then we can uh, set course in date as you have to click on enable here so that we can change this so we can change it as uh, 10th july 2018 so we can uh, rearrange these uh, things like that then uh, if we have a course id number then we can also put it here then uh, we can put a description of the course here in the course sub, uh, summary option so we can uh, write some thing which can help uh, uh, an individual user to understand about the course then we have the option of course summary files then uh, if we have some files uh, of the course then we can upload these files here we can also drag and drop these files here so that it gets uploaded then we have course format option in course format we have two uh, we have different formats like single activity format social format topic format or weekly format here we are using topic format in weekly format we have different weeks and we have to arrange the course week wise for the simplicity for purpose we have chosen here topic format now then we have appearance options where uh, we can change the language and uh, force calendar in which uh, we have to force a uh, time frame of the course then number of announcement we can uh, set it here then so great great book to students we can uh, put it here yes or no then so activity reports we can uh, put it yes or no that uh, students can see here now files and uploads if you have to upload the files and we can uh, put here the uh, size of the maximum upload size of the file then uh, location tracking is also very uh, handy uh, which uh, shows that how much course is uh, uh, completed how much percent of the course is completed then we uh, also have this type of option then uh, this is the role renaming option then uh, if uh, these are the by default options that is available if we uh, want to change the student name as learner so we can put it here then uh, the student will be changed to learner or like that and then we have different tags which uh, we can uh, put it here and then we have to click on save and display option here uh, as soon as we click, click here the core settings will get updated so uh, i hope you all uh, uh, will be benefited from this video and you will learn that uh, how we can customize the dashboard and uh, how we can edit the core settings so we are from the fdp301 uh, team 110 and uh, these are the participants in the uh, course myself uh, professor rupesh mardata and professor chandra gauda professor kangavel and professor chandalan thank you very much